Uh, my name is Colin Ford. I'm a senior airman in the Air Force. I do HVAC. On a day-to-day -day basis at Quonset, we check out the coolant and the AC and all the furnaces, make sure they're running properly. For HVAC, we need someone who's hardworking because sometimes we get in sticky situations like here. Uh, we were in the attic crawl space for about three hours yesterday. It's 110 degrees. Um, you're up there doing duct work. You're making sure everything's running properly. And it's, it can be miserable sometimes. Be comfortable getting uncomfortable. This job is awesome for starting a career because it translates perfectly to the civilian side. Um, I, when I got first got in, I went and did uh, residential HVAC for a whole summer. Everything I learned from tech school, I did it right in the civilian side. So it worked out It worked out awesome. Um, if you're hot, you can't concentrate when you're working, right? Because you're you're sweating, you're getting you're getting aggravated. So it's our job to make sure that you're comfortable in your in your spot all day long, whether in the desert, 100 degrees, or you're back in Quonset when it gets down to 20 degrees. Our job is to maintain that everybody's comfortable at all times in their room, their offices, their squadron, wherever it is. It's our job to go in and control the heating, ventilation, AC, and refrigeration. In the mission of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, to catch a suspect, sometimes you have to go underground. Like today, you can find Altus's very own investigator, Senior Airman Batten, underneath the base and on the case. I'm looking for a water leak coming from the water lines for our uh, AC unit supply and return. But we have uh, the way the, the, we're so low on the ground that the groundwater comes in through the cracks of these walls. So we just want to clarify that it's not our problem of our pipes leaking is why the tunnel fills up all the time. While checking the pipes for integrity, a different culprit was discovered. A pesky sump pump had given out, letting the tunnel flood with groundwater. Lowered into the tunnel, a new sump pump now stands guard of the cooling lines, the lifeblood of comfort. And while we enjoy the AC they provide, HVAC tends to work outside. And no matter the weather or the depths they must go, HVAC is always on the case, solving the mysteries behind your cooling needs. The Fort Civil Engineering Squadron mission is to keep the base running from the grounds up, providing electricity, plumbing, structures, and air conditioning. As an HVAC technician, what we have to do is provide climate control in any spaces that need it that can span from temperature, humidity, to even ventilation. Day-to-day -day lifestyle of an HVAC technician is we come in bright and early in the morning, divvy out some work orders based on priority, then we're hopping in our work trucks and either going to a building that could have a top secret server room or something as simple as office space cooling. HVAC has a role of getting aircraft in the air, which could be as simple as making sure the servers that go into the air traffic control are nice and cool so they can communicate to pilots. Even the equipment that goes onto the aircraft needs to be at a certain temperature and we provide all of that. I'm Airman First Class Bradley Weeks. I'm part of the 28th Civil Engineer Squadron and I'm an HVAC technician. When something breaks down, we uh, typically it's broken down by zone. We have three different zones. So whoever is in that zone goes out, uh, typically two people that will go out to that and they will troubleshoot the, whatever is broken. We have, we have a good group of guys that uh, we work with. They're, they're a lot of hard workers and I really appreciate what they do for our base. Typically it's either going to be recurrent maintenance or um, work orders. It's basically just any, any point on, on base is who calls in a work order. We go in there and fix whatever it be, whether it be a air handler, a pump, or a boiler. Um, typically it's they don't have any heating. Our job is important to Ellsworth because we support the 28th Operations Group as well as the 432nd Attack Squadron. Really it's the cooling that we provide for MQ-9. Uh, there's multi-million dollar equipment that without that cooling they couldn't function and their mission could not go on. As being part of the mission support group, we definitely strengthen the team. We provide, provide heating in South Dakota's frigid temperatures and without it the mission really could not go on. The favorite part about my job is being able to learn something, something that I can do anywhere. Uh, any, I can go anywhere in the world and do my job. And I really enjoy learning a new skill trade. It's something that I never knew before I came in the Air Force. And I love being able to be a part of the team and support the 28th Bomb Wing mission. I love being able to uh, represent the Air Force in a positive light. And I love being able to really do something with my life that a lot of my friends back home haven't been able to 